is Sandhya V from Department of Physics, Cambridge Institute of Technology. In this video, I am giving a demo of uh, how to find optic in uh, numerical aperture and acceptance angle in an optical fiber. Uh, let's start the experiment. This is the experimental setup to determine the numerical aperture and acceptance angle in an optical fiber. Here, semiconductor laser is used as source of light. And as you can see, the output light coming out of the semiconductor laser is connected to the optical fiber. This is the optical fiber and the other end of optical fiber is mounted on a wooden stand. And the light coming out from the optical fiber is marked on the screen. Let us understand how to know, uh, find out numerical aperture and acceptance angle in this uh, arrangement. In this uh, experiment, uh, this is the optical fiber, uh, laser source is used as a source of light here. And we know that the light, when it is emerging out of an optical fiber, it emerges out like this in the form of a cone. Now this cone of light, this uh, circle of uh, light is projected on the screen uh, where the graph sheet is placed. And let us mark this uh, circle. Angle of acceptance is calculated by the formula tan inverse of D by 2L. As you can see in the diagram, if this is theta, that is half angle of the cylinder and theta will be tan inverse of d by 2, that is the radius upon length, where L is the distance between the optical fiber and the screen. Once I know acceptance angle theta naught, we know by uh, from our understanding of optical fibers that numerical aperture is calculated by as a sign of uh, theta naught, that is sign of acceptance angle. Now let us understand how to mark uh, these circles on the uh, screen. Actually what we are doing is, we are varying the distance between the optical fiber and the screen for a large distances and mark this uh, light falling on the screen and then calculate theta naught. This is a very simple experimental setup we have built. That is on a wooden uh, plate, we have supported the optical fiber. The light is coming from the laser and the light is projected onto the screen here. We can notice that as I increase the distance between the optical fiber and the screen, the aperture of the light falling on the screen also increases. So let us record this image for dis different distances starting with distance of 2 cm. Now the distance between the optical fiber and the screen is 2 cm. Actually, we are supposed to mark the entire circle of light falling onto the screen. But it becomes sometimes difficult for the students to mark, uh, to draw a freehand circle uh, uh, with the minimum error on the screen. So what we suggest is, uh, let us draw the four as actually, it's like we are drawing tangent at four ends of the uh, circle so that these four lines will contribute to the diameter, will help us in uh, calculating the diameter of this light falling onto the screen. Now, this is the distance maintained, the distance between uh, optical fiber and screen is maintained 2 centimeters. Let us repeat this for different distances. That is for distance of increasing order 4, 5, 6, so on at least 4 to 5 readings so that we can mark this pattern and calculate radius of this light. So I have marked for a three sample distance, uh, that is for distance 2, 3 and 4. Uh, students are expected to mark this the same pattern for different distance, at least 5 uh, varying distance so that we can take a better average and minimize the error. Uh, here I have marked L equals 2, 3 and 4 where L indicates the distance between the optical fiber and the screen. By using scale, I have measured the horizontal and vertical diameter. Okay, The diameter would be same whether you measure it horizontally or vertically. Because we are drawing only the edges of this circle, in order to get a better accurate result that is in the radius, we are calculating horizontal and vertical diameter and then take this average as diameter. So I have noted down, I have taken a scale and measured the horizontal and vertical diameter. And similarly, the same procedure is repeated for 3 and 4 centimeters. I have recorded uh, the horizontal and vertical diameter, what I have marked in the graph for, for these distances. 
that is 2, 3 and 4 centimeters. I have noted down the horizontal and vertical diameter and taken the average. As I explained just before, we are measuring horizontal and vertical diameter so that the error in measurement of diameter and radius would be minimum. So once I know uh, D, I have to know what is the radius of the uh, circle and then substitute or directly substitute as D by 2 in the formula for theta naught. Here theta naught represents acceptance angle. So on substituting uh, D by 2, D as 2.15, 2 and L as 2 centimeters, I get theta naught as 28.25. The same procedure is repeated for different distances. And one, we know the relation between uh, numerical aperture and acceptance angle. Numerical aperture is sine of acceptance angle. So as we have calculated acceptance angle for various distances, we have calculated numerical aperture also. So numerical aperture we have calculated and the average is noted down here. The average value of acceptance angle is noted as 26.96 degrees and the average of accept, uh, numerical aperture is noted as 0.45. And hence, this makes gives us a result. Uh, the acceptance angle of the given optical fiber is found to be 26.96 degrees and numerical aperture is found to be 0.453. Thank you.